in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Following on from the updates brought in the April release, we now have the ability to set how fields display for the end user on a card page. We see here an example of a customer card and actually each of these pieces of information, each of these fields has a status. They'll either be standard, as we see here on the invoicing tab, these are the fields that display at all times if the fast tab is expanded. Some fields are promoted, like we see here from the address and contact. So if I now collapse the invoicing fast tab, three of those fields remain visible. They're the promoted fields as the highest priority. If I reopen the invoicing fast tab, we have a third level, the lowest priority. If I click show more, we see the additional fields such as currency code. So show less will make them go. When I collapse the fast tab, I only see the promoted fields. This means that you can then choose which tabs to leave expanded and collapsed, yet still have visibility of information that's important to you and reduce the amount of scrolling up and down the page you have to do. And we can set this now. So if I stay with invoicing on a cog, we have personalize. As I go over each field, I can set its priority or alter its priority. For example, we see the three promoted ones at the moment are the general business posting group, the customer posting group, and the customer discount group. So the general business posting group, if I go to the red triangle, I have the option of demoting it. So it will go down to show always. So it will no longer show as a promoted field or I can demote it further so it only shows as an additional field and therefore under the show more. A field that's not currently visible as a promoted field will have the option of show when collapsed. And a field that's currently got the lowest status like currency code will have the options to update it to show always so it will show under the main open section and could be set to promoted by going to show when collapsed. So if I set the fat reg number to show when collapsed, that's promoted that field. When I collapse the fast tab, I now see the VAT reg number. I also have the option now of altering where things show in the actions bar. For example, on the Navigate drop-down, if I want to get to the customer ledger entries, that's actually another click down within history. I can move this so it sits alongside history and I've got quicker access to it, one less click. I can do the same with dimensions for the things I want quick access to. And on the Navigate drop-down now, ledger entries and dimensions. On some pages, I can also add at the top level as well. Because I've now got two levels of customization to the field statuses and the action bar, if I decide I want to remove my personalizations, clear personalization actually has multiple options. I can clear just the actions changes, which is this bar here. I can clear everything except the actions, so that'll be anything I've changed in the fact boxes and in the field statuses, or I can change and remove everything. And when I'm finished, I say done.